Hello my beautiful glam queens! Welcome back to my channel! And if you are new here, I'm Alicia, lover of makeup and glam rock. A very very warm welcome to all those new subscribers. I see you guys. Thank you, thank you. Just to let you guys know what we do around here, I post two products in my TikTok feed and here on YouTube. And you guys will have a chance to vote which product is your favorite. Also, keep on watching to find out how you can get featured in next week's video. First product up is Ben Nye. Hello Ben Nye. Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. The one in my hand is two ounces. They have about five different sizes. So first size is the one ounce bottle, then my two ounce bottle, and then a four ounce bottle. Then there is an eight ounce bottle. Now once you get to the eight ounce bottle, it does not spray like this. The 8 ounce bottle is just a regular closed bottle cap. You have to open it, twist to open, and then twist to cap it back on. Then you have the 16 ounce bottle, which is for most likely pros if you're going to be using it a lot. Again, it is a closed bottle, not a spray bottle. As for the prices, they do have manufactured suggested retail price in the US, but each seller is free to set their own price. Also, just to let you know, international seller prices may vary from country to country. Now, to purchase this, you can go to bennye.com, put in your address, mainly like the city, zip code, and then Ben I will do the work for you, give you all the locations that are nearest to you where you could purchase it. They do want to mention to not purchase your makeup, any Ben Eye makeup, on Amazon and other online marketplaces such as Walmart, Alibaba, etc. etc. There's just no way in telling that you might actually be purchasing the actual product, so it may not be authentic. And of course, the prices might be higher. Now, when you purchase from a store, they do highly recommend you to call first, see if they have them in stock. Or if there is a particular size that you are looking for, you can call them and see if they would be able to order it for you. Depending on the store, of course. Always good to call and ask questions. It should last you around 18 months. It is cruelty free. They mentioned that they themselves don't test on animals and any third party that they're associated with should not be testing on animals, even their suppliers. They won't sell their products that require animal testing as well, kind of like mainland China. Ben Nye is also vegan. Oh yes. Some of the products do have beeswax and carmine, but if you would like to go into great detail, if you go to the website, they actually have a PDF and there will be a full list of what I believe may be vegan and what may not be vegan. Of course, always remember to check the latest ingredient list either on their website or it's usually on the product. Ben Eye is also gluten-free. If you like more information about that as well, go ahead online. And last, they do have preservatives, which help to prevent bacteria and fungal contamination. Again, Ben Eye goes into very great detail on that on their website. I found all of this on Ben Eye Facts, F-A-Q-S. Now I know Ben Eye was going through a few lawsuits on their hands this year or last year. Um, I believe that's why they are going into great detail of what they have in their products, which is good. I feel like every company should do that. So kudos to them for allowing us to know exactly what's going on in their products. And we as the consumer can have the ability to look all of this up online, of course. The iconic Final Seal Setting Spray provides durability and extends the wear time to any makeup. Now, when they say any makeup, they mean any makeup, not just for the theater and film industry. Ben Nye has grown to cover all aspects of makeup, even everyday wear. Its alcohol-based formula coats makeup in a heavy-duty cosmetic sealer that allows for long wear and reduces the effects of oils and perspiration that may be present on the skin. It dries quickly to a matte, smudge-proof finish. This setting spray is an absolute must-have for every makeup artist, performer, 
and even in nectar, which is why it has a wide range of kit-friendly sizes. Use it, of course, in a well-ventilated area and expect about 20 to 50 applications per ounce. Wow. Now, first ingredient in this, of course, is alcohol. Then there's water. It's a small, small ingredient list. Not too much. It has acrylites slash octoacrylamide copolymer, triethylnolamine propylene glycol, and phenoxyethanol. Now for the fragrance. Yes. <laughs> It does have fragrance and perfume. It is going to be very minty. Ugh. So. Yes. The mint is supposed to give you a cooling sensation. It literally is like um, spearmint gum. <laughs> it's minty. I'm not a huge fan of mint on my face, but if you love that go for it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put this baby on. Let's do it. There we go. I'm going to do this side of my face, the right side. Now when you're using this, you want to use it as the last step. Last step. Of course, you don't have to follow the rules, but Ben I is highly suggesting that this is the way to use this product. So if you're using any cream makeup like foundation or concealers, make sure you seal that with powder first. And then after you use the powder, go ahead and use the final seal. Got my face all powdered, of course. You guys know I love the RCMA powder. Got that on my face. And here we go. Hold it at least six to eight inches away. I think it's about here <laughs> and spray the makeup with a smooth all over coating so here we go well, let me move my hair back too okay maybe this side too <laughs> all right Whew. that went right up my nose the first time ah. there we go now I'm using this baby today because it is hot. My dad allowed me to borrow this. <laughs> also, if you like, Ben Nye says it's okay to use before your makeup like a primer. That will prep the skin, get you all nice and ready, and of course reduce any effects of oils and the perspiration that you might have. And what's really cool is that it tells you that if your nozzle gets like a little bit too backed up basically becoming blocked and it gets stuck you know what i'm saying simply just wipe it with isopropyl alcohol i also want to mention that the very first spray that you do it comes out like Pleh. so test it on your hand first then it should eventually start spraying very evenly all over instead of like huge water drops you know what I'm saying? So just be aware that that can happen. And we're done. Let's talk about the other product. Next we have One Size <gasps> Until Dawn Metafine Waterproof Setting Spray. They have the one ounce, which is this one I have, for $17. And then there is the 3.4 ounce, which is $32 can be purchased at onesizebeauty.com of course sephora slash kohl's there is no expiration date from what i'm seeing usually aerosol cans like this don't have expiration dates I'm guessing they expect you to finish fast not too sure but it is cruelty free and vegan also paraben free it is a waterproof rub proof transfer proof metafine performance setting spray with skincare benefits. It should lock your makeup up for 16 hours. No touch-ups are needed. It is light as air and a non-sticky aerosol spray. There are botanical ingredients that help absorb the oil and tighten pores, resulting in a blurred oil control, flawless matte finish. And one size just want to let you know that it does only do shipping within the U.S. Now it does have some fragrance. Spray that one over here. Oh, there we go. 
It is a very luxurious smell for a luxury brand, of course. It smells flowery to me. Ooh. It says that the scent is green tea, cucumber, citrus, and melon. So the green tea extract addresses the shine and tightens the look of pores. Then there is the witch hazel, which is the one that absorbs the oil for that blurred matte finish. They do have a consumer study, which resulted in mostly 100%. So, 100% of the users say that their makeup stayed secured, the makeup did not smudge, and their skin looked smoother. All that 100%. <laughs> now let's get into that demonstration that I shall do. Here we go. So it says, shake well. And then close your eyes, of course, during the application. This one suggests you hold it 10 to 12 inches away from your face. Wow. A whole ruler, basically. It's further out. And spray in a... Well, let me go close so I can show you guys. Spray in a circular motion for even distribution. Now, I don't know how well I'm going to be doing the circular motion with my left hand because I am right-handed, but here we go. Oh, I have a tendency of wanting to go close. It's pretty, uh... Yeah, I think I got it. Get my neck. And there we go. I'll probably... Mm, I'm going to wait like two, probably two hours. And then we'll do that whole like spraying water on my face thing and seeing if the makeup smudges or moves anywhere. So, get ready for that. Uh, here we go. The water pool test or whatever they do. Go ahead. Shower me. Closer. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use, but make sure it's all nice and wet. <laughs> Alright. Does it look like a stain on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here we go. Makeup is still on, I think. Am I dripping mascara or anything? I don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> All right. Usually you see uh, Patrick Starr dumping himself entirely into a pool. Mm -hmm. His whole face in the pool. After the setting spray, of course. Okay, let's get into the results. You guys voted for this. This is from TikTok first, and then we'll get into the YouTube results. So here we go, TikTok. And the winner is favorite setting spray. The winner is doo -doo -doo. boom. Hey, 50, 50. Wow. 50, 50. Congratulations to you both. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the winners. Congratulations, Benai. Congratulations. One size. You are the winner. Okay. Now for YouTube results. I can take this guy off now. Ugh. Okay, YouTube, here we go. And the winner is, do 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 boom, ooh, okay, one size, 75%, and, oh, Ben Nye is 25%. Hey, congratulations, one size, you are actually the actual winner now. One size takes it all. Congratulations to you. Now if you agree with this, let me know in the comments below why you agree with this or why you don't agree with this. And if you don't agree with this, boom, let me know why you love Ben Nye better. Hmm? Hmm? Do you use Ben Nye? Uh, I know a lot of theatrical kids out there do. One of the top favorites. Same for me as well. I started out using Ben Nye when I was starting off uh, in makeup school, always, always bought Ben Nye stuff. 
just the uh, more affordable way to go if you're starting out, especially when they have kit ready makeup. So yeah, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and I will feature you in next week's video. We have a feature today. This one is actually, once again, we're going to go back to the toners. Seems to be a very popular video. This is from Surgent Chick 2820. You have a coming voice. Thank you. Peach and Lily is nice, but Dickinson's is more affordable. Probably Dickinson's. Yes, I highly agree. No doubt about it. Dickinson's is the more affordable way to go. Now, I also want to talk to you guys about my last video, Tula versus OC. I just wanted to mention which one I favored a little bit more. For me, I felt that the OC body scrub just made my skin felt more moisturized like right away. When you're rubbing it all over your body, you can feel it as you're using it. As for the Tula, of course, I'm not going to stop using it. I mean, I do have to finish the little bottle, which is why I like to get little samples. So I'm not committed to it. Well, that's all. I will see you guys probably for the VMAs. And then next week will be another You Voted video. So I'll see you then. Keep on loving that makeup. Keep on rocking. And yeah. Bye.